Hello my boys, good morning. This is a complete guide for Eldritch Currency. Let's start with everything. So here we will do some practical exemplification, but we will start with the basic, yeah? In the exotic section of the Currency tab, you will find the Eldritch Currency. We have some to the left and some to the right. Okay, so we have uh, Icors and Embers. Icors drop from Meteor Vault's influence and um, Searing Exile drops Embers. Yeah. What's important to note here that you have actually six tiers of um, balls. Let's call them balls. Red balls and blue balls. So we have Lesser, Greater, Grand, Exceptional, and there are two more hidden, Exquisite and Perfect. Yeah. So there are not four, there are actually six. <clears throat> you can access the last two using Orb of Conflict, which we will do in this video. Same here, we have Lesser, Greater, Grand, Exceptional, Exquisite, and Perfect. It's very important to memorize that you actually have six. Okay, let's do some practical exemplification to see how they work. So here I will take these beauties. We go here to my tab, we take something and we roll it. So this will give special modifiers for the implicits. If you don't know what are implicits, are this above uh, the explicit. <laughs> so these are the explicit and these are the implicits. I, you're not that of sucky boy. No, my viewers are not sucky boys. And you roll it here until you get some modifier that you want. Yeah. Same here with the embers. Yeah. In case you don't know what modifier you want. Maybe it's the case. No problem. There are websites on Google. You know, if you do a Google search, you will find. And I did a, a quick Google search here for the you know, see, Eldritch modifiers. And you have for Searing XR Eater of Walls. And you, you even can put for gloves, for example. You click it and you scroll down if you see something that interests you. Yeah? Usually people like uh, the rage generation. Let me see here. Rage. This one, game one, rage with attacks. It's many like this, you know. And here is for the different tiers. I explained we have six tiers for lesser, greater, you got the idea, exquisite and perfect here, yeah? The, be the higher the tier, the better the effect, yeah? It's good. So you can watch on Google, you know, open one of these sites and you have everything, yeah? For the boots, again, you scroll down. If you see something interesting, it's good, yeah? Good boys, I put the link in the description of the video so you can access it. Here also you have for the helmets of searing for the blue balls. I'll call them blue balls, it's easy for my English, you know. Good. Okay, now let's uh, show how World of Conflict works. Yeah. So, so these boots I crafted yesterday with my uh, uh, Fracture Essence Crafting Guide. If you want to watch it, go ahead. Okay, and here what I want to do, I want to have perfect 10% increase movement speed. Orb of Conflict works like this. Once you apply Orb of Conflict, if you hold down Alt, you see one is exquisite, one is grand. One will bump up. So there are two possible outcomes here. The movement speed will go up to perfect and life regeneration will go down by a tier, yeah, to greater. And this is important to know. Or it can happen the other way. When you, this one will go to exceptional and the movement speed will go to grand. Okay, I I want my movement speed to become 10. No. No, you see? And the life regeneration goes like that. So one will go up, one will go down. It, so it has a downside. It's a, a form of gambling here, you know? Let's try again. Oh, no. Oh, well, rip my movement speed. Okay, I'll try to get the life regeneration to perfect then. Of course. Man, it's annoying. Okay, let's try movement speed back. No! Life regeneration to perfect! No! That's why people <laughs> don't like it. No, I'm gonna use them everywhere. Man, I'm recording because this is expensive. I'm recording. Good! Oh! Okay! I want light. I want movement speed to 10! No! No! And the last one. Well, give me movement speed to 10! Okay. Finally! <laughs> so now uh, you've seen what the uh, Orb of Conflict does. So this raises the tier of uh, an ember of an icon or lowers it yeah let's uh, think more before we do some practical exemplification let's go back here to the currency and i need to explain these special ones used mostly for crafting only for crafting actually we have eldritch chaos orb eldritch orb of an almond and eldritch exalted orbs yeah. good 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 we need to talk a little about um, these embers and icors, they only affect armors, meaning that uh, helmets, boots, gloves and body armors. Rest doesn't work. There is only one exception in this game, which is a unique special amulet, which is the Eternal Struggle. Yeah? You get Eternal Struggle amulet from doing the small invitations for uh, Writing Invitation and Polaric Invitation here. Yeah? Here you can drop that amulet. It's an exception. Yeah? 
uh, the exceptional icors and embers can only drop from the uh, pinnacle boss for searing exert and eater of walls. So I'm talking about these two can only drop from this special invitation. The rest of the embers and icors ca can drop in maps these three tiers. If you have a synthesize item, yeah, be very careful because once you apply an Eldritch currency, it gets rerolled. So let's say you have a very expensive synthesize item, you will lose those implicit. So be very careful. So now this is important to know. Here is another example. Yeah, once you put uh, embers or icors, bye bye. Yeah, so you need to pay attention. Yeah. My boys, I will give you some tips now. Let's say your build guy says you need two maximum fire resistance for the boot implicit. Yeah, yeah this you will need to apply orb of conflict in order to get exquisite or perfect in order to access their two maximum fire resistance modifier. Yeah, uh, this can be a pain as you've seen before and to get that 10 percent movement speed took a lot of tries and it's actually very expensive. I actually spent more than 20 divine orbs to get that 10 movement speed here. Yeah, very expensive. What you can do here. Here is a trick that I like to apply and I will share it with you. You can go on the trade website, find a base that already has the exquisite implicit to maximum fire resistance. You buy it and you will craft on it. Yeah. And let's say you're very poor and but you, your guide needs to maximum fire resistance. There is a budget alternative. You'll buy this implicit when, when a unique enemy is in your present to maximum fire resistance. You know, we have rogue exiles, we have map bosses. And usually those are the situations when you really need those two extra fire resistance. Uh, this is very cheap. I pay 10 kilos. So you will find plenty on the trade website and you start crafting on it. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, if you cannot find directly the maximum fire resistance implicit to buy it and then you craft on the boots, you will um, buy this one when a unique enemy is in your presence. This is I like to do if you want to follow good. Okay, boys, now let's do some crafting. Good stuff. So this is a method that I've been using for a long time. We will use uh, mostly Eldritch Shadow Sorbs. Okay, so what says here, if Searing Exarch is dominant, reroll prefix modifiers. Here I uh, snatch it from the website, very cheap, all these uh, items that I snatch are cheap. You know, great suffixes, we have triple elemental resistances, which has high roll. Yeah? But I don't like the, uh, the prefixes, the prefixes are shit. Yeah? I want to make profit here. So here says, if Searing Exarch is dominant, we reroll only the prefixes, which are shit. To make uh, Searing XR dominant, you need to apply just one orb, and now it's dominant. Yeah, There are two situations. Let's start with the basic. If the item is clean and you ap apply just uh, one orb, uh, that orb will be dominant. So now it says just Searing XR presence, means it's Searing XR dominant. So if I'm going to apply a Chaos Orb, it will reroll the prefixes. Yeah, What I want to hit here, it's life. Yeah, usually life. This is also good, not bad evasion rating. We can even put an exalted uh, Eldritch. Yeah. No, it's bad. You continue rerolling. It's pretty safe, you know. It only it keeps my suffixes. Yeah. This is a form of crafting. Now, of course, you won't do it on this because it depends on the price. Now, uh, it's end league. It's more expensive, you know. It's like free for one diviner. But uh, on league star, this is actually more cheaper. I'm looking for something crazy. My life, okay, life. We keep it life here. Look how I'm gonna do. You can put an Eldritch Exalted Orb. I repeat, this is a fast guide that will not block any modifier. This is just for exemplification. So we have tier 1 evasion rating. It's actually not bad. And you craft something at the end. Let's put it here. Um, yeah. Let me think. Let's put this one. Okay, like this. Now I crafted a great helmet. You can also pay with the implicits after you crafted your items. You can put uh, whatever implicits you want. You know, I won't craft it now, but you get the idea. There are plenty. Usually you want uh, mana reservation here or this one for uh, not bad. You will spend time and you think on it, but you've seen how to craft. This is the idea. Now let's take another example. So for these boots. Uh, oh, man, this I will not craft. Let me check what's with this. Oh, one moment. This is from an older project. This I will not craft. This has great implicits. Uh, this I will craft it later for look. Even has the right fracture for the life regeneration. Okay, let's check this one. We will craft this one. Let's take another scenario when you already have. Uh, let's put one here a grand and here a less. And now, in order to craft with uh, Eldritch Chaos, it says if Searing Exart is dominant. 
Now you click on an item you hold Alt. How you find out if it's dominant or not? Each of these modifiers has uh, its status. You see here Grand, here Lesser. Okay, Grand it's bigger than Lesser, so meaning that Eater of Olds in this scenario is dominant. So if I am to apply uh, Eldritch Shadow it will reroll the suffixes and I will lose my resistances. Yeah? To make uh, dominant, you need to put, let's take some orbs here. I'll take this, I'll take this, 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 this. Okay. Just make sure that you apply a greater um, amber here and put a lesser for the Eater of Falls. And now when I check, you will see that your Searing Exart is dominant. It's on top. You have greater. Now if I'm going to apply Eldritch Chaos Orb, it will reroll just the prefixes. Good. Let's see if you get something interesting here. Usually you want movement speed life. This do I want to see. Movement speed life. And this sucks. And yeah, let's put an Eldritch Exalted Orb. Of course, I didn't got anything good. Yeah, you start, you craft some movement speed. Uh, remember, if you craft boots, you always want movement speed. If you have the June Betrayal Crafts, this one with Onslaught, I find it the best. Just make sure you put perfect 20% movement speed roll. Like this. These are shit boots, actually. Can sell for some, but I will craft them later. I won't leave them like this, you know. And here I have a project. This is from my energy shield project. And we will do some risky things with Orb of an Almond. Yeah, I'll do it in this video. So here I have uh, my helmet. Let me check a few things here. So this is a great helmet, but I want to annul the increased rarity of items found. Yeah? So my best chances are just to affect the prefixes. So here says, if Searing Exalt is dominant, remove a prefix modifier. So my resistances are guaranteed to remain unchanged. Let's see if it's dominant. Oh, both are lesser. Nothing will happen if they are the same. We need to make it dominant. Okay, I'm gonna apply a greater eldritch here. And now you will see that uh, Searing Exart is greater. Now when I'm gonna apply Orb of Annulment, it has a chance to annul either Energy Shield or the increased rarity and I'm hoping that it will not break my special craft here and we annul the rarity oh shit man it ruined my my craft oh it ruined my craft oh I'm very sad let's put an exalted orb because I'm very sad at the moment oh well this sucks I'll put it here I'll craft it later because it's not a big deal here the same thing so I want to annul the maximum mana you see tier 1 energy shield here and there I want to annul the maximum mana so I can craft movement speed, yeah? So to make it dominant in this situation, it's enough to put just one red orb. Good. And now I will apply orb of annulment, hoping that they will erase the mana. Oh. Of course, you need to be lucky. Usually it's one in three chances. I didn't got it. No problem. Let's check this one. So what I don't want here. No, here I want to reroll it the classic way. I need to buy more Eldritch Shadow Orbs, which I will do it with you now. You go on the beautiful website here, you go to Bulk Item Exchange, you click on Divine Orbs and you have here Eldritch Shadow Orb. And you start whispering boys. Okay, boys and girls. Bam! Oh! I have D&D. Well, what did you know? I had it. Okay, my boys, we can whisper this. I will overpay because why not? It's end league. I already gambled, you know. I gambled on my currency. I'm poor. I'm poor now. I don't have money. Good. And we click here. In case you have a lot of players in the list, you just uh, right click on the chat and visit hideout. So you don't have to read. Okay. Good. Let's go back to my hideout. Ooh. Yeah, so here I want to reroll the prefixes and it'll like good, uh, get good, better energy shield roll. Yeah. So let's say if um, Searing Exard is dominant, yeah, I'll make it like I'll put a grand here. Now for sure it's dominant. Yeah. And we'll put. Um, where it is, my Eldritch House Orb here. And you click it until you get a better energy shield roll. You don't even need to read the modifiers, you just look at the energy shield at the top. This is what I like to do. If it goes high, I will check. You know, you want better. 
So I'm just looking at those numbers at the top. Okay, this is for exemplification. I'm uh, don't try this at home, you know what they say. Oh, good. This is good energy shield. Oh, this is not bad, man. And now we can craft something here. Yeah, put here energy shield. See if you maximum energy shield. Good. Put here twenty two. Yeah. And these are great gloves. Yeah, we have good energy shield, good resistances. Yeah, I made an expensive craft here. Suppression, I don't like this. I will reroll uh, this one here. To, let me fix something useful. That uh, yeah, can be used. Usually, you need to know what you want. Here, I have no idea what I want. Yeah, I just click like a, like a noob. I knew good idea. I will craft it later. I will think. Uh, attack speed is great. Yeah. Let's check the rolls. Good. So I made profit here. Yeah, this is I will put it uh, twenty divine ops. I think it's a fair price. Put it here, twenty divines. Yeah. Good. Now these are overpriced because it's end league. A lot of people quit it, but now you know how to do it in case you want to craft uh, in a different time. Okay, my boys, let's craft something else. What I have here. Okay, let's craft these boots. This I bought it from yesterday from the trade website. I paid one divine orb. And let's see if we can get a better price on it, yeah? Uh, triple resistance is so good, so nice. Make sure your searing XRT is dominant, which it is. You see greater, lesser. And I will apply simple chaos orb here. 30 movement speed is great, I will tell you. Now I all I have to do is put some life. Maximum life here. Uh, get a good row. Oh, 70. Good. And let's check again. We want 5% uh, movement speed. This is a trick that I taught you yesterday in case you want to see yesterday's video. What happens now? It will show if, if the guy sh looks on the trade website for 35% movement speed, my boots will appear. So I have more chances to find a buyer. This is a trick that I always do. Look, it has 35% movement speed, even on the trade website. Mm, these are great. This I can put it for 10 divine orbs. I think it's a fair price. Yeah. Don't uh, question my price checking skills, my boys. Good. 10 divine orbs here. Good. Let's see if we can craft something else. I still have some chaos orb left. Ah, this one I will craft it. Why not? Uh, good. Again, we make dominant here. We click a greater. Good. 6% movement speed is perfect. And we click here. And I'm checking the modifiers at all times. Mm. Again, now these ones are expensive, but uh, this is for exemplification, boy. So you know how to do it. Mm. And this sucks. Let's put an exalted orb here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this was a lucky exalted orb. I exalted of 30% movement speed. Ooh, let me grab life here. Oh, perfect orb, man, this is my lucky day. I have my lucky day, we put... I uh, put like this, you know, not bad, not bad. You know, put some quality. Why not? For the aesthetics, you know. And now we price check. With 36 movement speed. Hey, hey. If you want to get accurate, you put 35 here. You disable. Uh, now you will see some listings. This is my boots for... Yeah. This I will put it for 12 because... Um, why not? Let's put it 11. 11 divinos. Yeah. Good. Man, I think you understood by now how to use this special Eldritch Currency. I'm talking about Eldritch Chaos Orb, Eldritch Exalted Orb, Eldritch Job of an Album. Man, it's not hard. Yeah. You can target either the prefixes or the suffixes, making a very precise uh, Anal or Exalted Orb. Yeah.